Hello. Oh, God damn it. Hello and welcome to Best of the Plot. Oh, damn it. Damn it. The best laid plans. The best laid. But hello and welcome. This is Best to the Bottom. A bottom class people drinking bottom shelf booze. And I am Reverend JP. And over... There... Diane! <laughs> uh, shit. I got tired of waiting. <laughs> I do. Oh, well, uh, going off without a hitch. Smooth as butter. We are sailing the seas of cheese. But as I said, we're bottom class people drinking bottom shelf booze. And we like to review cheap boozes. We talk about nerdy stuff. We have. We have a couple little segments here. We have Floor Man. Tonight we're going to be drinking... God damn it. I just realized it says Smirnoff Dopo Chico Seltzer. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Let me just a uh, quick little edit there. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. We're going to be reviewing some Topo Chico hard seltzers tonight. We will also be discussing and booze in the news. Some Australians' booze is being limited by the government due to COVID. <gasps> Gasp. And we're also going to talk real-life superheroes. All right. I feel like everything is normal now. I'm just, I'm just looking around, making sure nothing else is screwed up. I don't think anything else is screwed up. Let's find out if I screwed something else up. Okay. <laughs> but if you're watching us here on YouTube on the replays, please like, share, subscribe. Join the family. It's a weird place to be. We also have audio versions available that I'm behind on at pestofthebottom.podbean.com. And we are live currently at twitch.tv forward slash bottom class. We're live here every Monday at 9 p.m. Mount Standard Time. And we have a website at Perico Productions, pericoproductions.com. There's some merchandise. If you want to donate, if you want to leave comments, whatever, there's a spot there for it. But how we start this show is with a little thing that we call the bag of Doom. In this bag, I have stuff. <laughs> um, it's it's a little light. Um, I had bought like eighty some shots. Well, those shots have been drank. So instead, there's something in here. I promise. It's not just an illusion. Well, from this bag, we will reach in there, take whatever shot we get, and we have to shoot it. Stan, you go first. And then I will reach in here, and I will grab a double doom because, yeah, just, eh, we need to appear behind the curtain. We're not going to break kayfabe. But I have this. It's a 99 peach. Dan, what do you have? How? Howler monkey head? Howler monkey head? Howler head monkey steer. Oh, oh. Okay. Oops. Is Oops. it a flavor? Um, Is monkey head a flavor? Maybe. It's Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey with natural banana flavor. Ah. Yes, so I can, like the monkey heads. It's a pretty cool bottle thing. It is actually a cool bottle. All right. I don't know if my stomach is ready for for shots, but as you can see, the shot is half full for reasons. <laughs> <laughs> for reasons. Uh, Diane, cheers to reasons. To reasons. And not those weird caramel chocolate covered things. Uh, 
Oh, my stomach's just not ready for it. But you know what? We're here now. And that is all we can do. We can be here. We're living in the moment. <clears throat> Every moment is... <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. Every moment is fleeting, so we must live in the moment that we have constructed upon ourselves in this reality. Stuff! Stuff! Yeah, mystical. Now, Diane. Yeah. As you know, we like to get things started off with a little thing called the Florida Man. Okay. And how is it that we do this for? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> it just has gone. Hang on. <laughs> there you go. Uh, there okay. you're not. There you go. There you're not. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Fucking shit. Um, I was just telling Justin that I hate this lighting because it makes me look whiter than him. So he just decided to hurt me even more by just blacking out his screen altogether. Um, hmm. Why? Why? Why are we doing this? <clears throat> I don't know what's going on and it's pissing me off. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Oh, when we got to raid us, I go black. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't count as blackface. I think it does. <laughs> it does not. I know the intent behind this black screen, and it's definitely blackface. <laughs> okay. I think I did something. He Fuck, I did nothing. No. Why? Why? Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> oh fuck. Are you are you gonna like I feel like you're gonna you're like secretly having a costume change. <laughs> I wish I was. I really <laughs> wish it was that simple. I don't know what just <laughs> that is... Nay. <laughs> Nay, that is that is Oh my god, hey. he definitely is. Oh, Jesus. That sounds oh. like a very Reverend JP thing <laughs> to do. Why are you doing this now? The camera was working just fine. <laughs> oh. Do you, like, hit something? or? No, this, the cable is doing weird stuff, and it's I think it was trippy, to be honest with you. Hmm. That sounds about right. Uh. He's getting Karen angry. I am. Oh. Oh, oh fuck! Stand by. Okay. Man, do something entertaining. Hello. Um, welcome to um, our humble show where something always happens. You could probably take bets that something is going to go wrong, just depending on what. I'm sure money can be made for all here. Um, Justin normally isn't in blackface. 
just today for some reason. Um, <laughs> 16 out of 19. That's great. Sorry, I have to look at my phone to see a uh, comment, so that's why I'm a... <laughs> Get this margarita bottle. Is that what that... Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, it's there. Don't... <sighs> Part of me really badly would like for it just to go black again, just for uh, that. Uh, that was frustrating. Dan, can you even see what the chat is doing? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Have you at least interacted with people chatting? I was like, oh fuck, it was such a disaster. Like, as soon as the show starts, it just. Boop. Trippy, what did you do? Something was it you? I don't know. <sighs> Fucking gremlins. <sighs> well, well, now that that shit all happened, um, uh, fuck, uh, everything did go to shit. Everything went to shit. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what's going on in the chat, but here, here's all right. I've what confiscated. Well, I haven't confiscated anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what but... we're drinking? I thought we're drinking. Oh, we're on the oh. Florida man. Oh, Jesus. This is what um, Maverick is drinking or was drinking. And it's pretty damn tasty. Is it? Yeah. Right. I don't know why he left right. it with me. I can't be trusted with it. I, I'm, 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 uh, I'm together. I have hiked through the woods. I have found the rails. And I think we're getting back on them, okay? <laughs> so bear with me. Bear with me. For, so for this th this week's Florida Man, as we like to do, then I'm setting you up to tell people how the Florida Man happens. Oh, was that what you were doing? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. And then, oh. boop, blanked out. Then, how do we do Florida Man's? Um, what happens is, is Justin brings up a Florida man story and then he does an improv thing and it's beautiful. How about that? Was that good? Sure. I'll take it. I'll take yes, it. That's a no. man, that was I a bad description. I find a Florida man headline. I don't read the story. I read the headline and then we make it up and then, uh, you know. Shit happens. So for this week's Florida man comes from NPR. A Florida man plants a banana tree in a pothole of the middle of the road. Now you see. This Florida man. It sounds like. He's just tired. Just sick and tired. Of potholes being strewn all about the roadway. And he wanted to help the city out and fix these potholes, so he started planting banana trees. But oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This man is planting mutated banana trees. Yes, one day, while on a meth bender, he himself <laughs> became mutated and is no longer Florida man, but Florida mayhem oh wow and in this in this terrible just mutant meth rage he has decided he is going to not just take over florida but one day the world and as he has done this he has grabbed various mutant meth banana trees and he is going slowly around the country starting all over florida probably miami-dade and just 
putting various banana trees in potholes. And as they grow, they expand. The roots penetrate deep within the soil. And then, bam! They all unite. And the banana men drop from the trees and begin to take over. Starting with Florida. Because nobody's going to notice anything about a man running around in a banana suit. And that is where they get you. It starts off maybe thinking there's Chiquita Banana, Dole, or maybe, I don't know, some other banana companies trying to horn in on the business. And it's just this lovely little, like, viral campaign. But no, 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 no. It is the mutant meth banana men slowly mutating and growing stronger and snatching little babies and mutating them into more bananas. And somebody gets pineapple along the way. And that, that is the end of civilization, my friends. It all starts with one banana tree. And they slowly begin to grow and mutate and just crop dust across the country. Because, yes, they're farting banana trees. Because why not? And it just becomes into chaos. I don't know where his, his, this is going, but he's just trying to create mayhem. Just one thing at a time. Why are we talking about Ivanka's banana? Wait, what? I, I'm lost in your chat. I'm moving on. <laughs> <laughs> you lost. <laughs> <You> lost. <laughs> I got distracted by the chat. But uh, the banana men. <laughs> yeah. I'm so lost from all the chaos. But yes. First off, hello, Neko. Hello, Maverick. Hello, Vegas Vargas. Hello, the chat. Beware of banana trees and potholes. That's all I'm saying. If you see a banana tree in a pothole, no good can come from it. Because Florida mayhem is afoot. <laughs> we are chat. We are chat. That should just be a thing now. Jump into live stream and just get a we are chat chant. <laughs> <laughs> just be careful not to like chat. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. Well, yeah. <laughs> I tried to go on more with the Florida Mayhem thing, but honestly, with the way the chaos started, I'm all uh I'm all fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I just told you, we don't have rails. Um, if anything, we're held by dental floss and uh, slowly being accrited across the vast deference. Yes, that's what I said. The vast deference, not the universe. <laughs> <laughs> you got railed once? Oh, wait. You did a rail once. Eh, well, you know. All right. Damn. Damn. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this Florida man? I don't know. I just I feel I feel defeated. I feel defeated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, the the banana man. They're the bad guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. the The banana men come from the trees as mm -hmm. they grow. Uh, they mutate and they jump down and viral, you know, they do some flash dances and stuff like that. I don't know. Flash mobs and banana suits. Uh, they're still children. Um, they sprinkle people with meth and then, you know, teeth fall out. Mayhem. Are they in leagues with the Tooth Fairy? No. No, no, no. no okay. Sorry, tooth, I, tooth, I just have tooth, a conspiracy theory brain. There, I there's, guess. <laughs> there's a reason why the tooth fairy goes after children's teeth. They want pristine teeth. Teeth that have been untainted by the evils of the world. You know, it's it, meth teeth. Nobody wants meth teeth. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just, it's not how it is. Wait, wait. You see the cereal and the milkman to show up? <laughs> I don't know. Chaos has happened. Chaos has happened. 
<laughs> I just, you know, I'm pretty easy past the Florida man. I feel like my Florida mans have gotten weaker over the last few weeks. I feel like I can't, you know, I feel like the Florida man peaked with, uh, what was the one that a tear brought came to my eye? I don't remember. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> always comes to your eye. This one wasn't as passionate. Well, most it, was, of the time. it was going to be passionate. And then, like, I've been distracted by the fact that my camera went out like eight times and just, I just, I feel, I just, I feel vulnerable and sensitive and I don't know, maybe it's, maybe I'm on my cycle. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's been rough. It's been rough. Are your boobies tender? Very. Mm. Maybe I'm pregnant. I don't know. <sighs> Dan, hmm. <laughs> what, do you say, what do you say we move on? Okay, let's do that. <laughs> this week we're reviewing Topo Chico Seltzer. And let me reach into this lovely mini fridge. Oh, yeah, I have one of those too. <laughs> A mini fridge? No. <laughs> I'm 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 actually I've been wanting. <laughs> so you guys drove 15 miles through the snow both ways to get one. Yeah. They had a whole bunch at uh, the the Circle K here. I showed you the picture. Hmm. See, was... that's that's where we made a mistake. We went to liquor stores. Yes. We should have just gas station. Oh yeah, definitely. Always just gas station. It was a great adventure, though. Yeah. See, I mean, just look at this. The endless tunnel of Topo Chico is at the Circle K here. Maybe I have a gas station. You don't know. Maybe I got some kind of glandular problem and the farts are intense. I don't know. Don't you judge me. Jesus. Tell Looking at you, it's while. not a maybe. It's a definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You share a secret and suddenly it's all over the Twitch and the Twitter machines and all the interwebs. Oh, you bastard. Justin, deny, deny, deny. Don't you know? Oh, it didn't deny. When you deny, 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 you end up canceled, canceled, canceled. Look, I can't help it. You know, cauliflower. I can't help it, cauliflower. <laughs> yes. Dan, shall we jump into these tall boy Topo Chicos? Yeah. They have four grams of sugar, four point seven alcohol per volume. Uh, they're distributed by the Coca Cola Company. Well, lovely. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. Oh damn it! And Vegas Vargas is having wine. Lovely. Nice. I had wine last night, and it was delightful. Ooh. And I had wine the night before. It was also extremely delightful. <laughs> On uh, Saturday was a particularly rough day for me. Diane. So more wine. <laughs> yes. Well, you're 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 aware of why some of the some of Saturday was a particularly rough day. So mm -hmm. I had some wine. A pint of Ben and Jerry and some cuddles on the couch. And it was lovely. And we had a nice evening of watching uh, Winter Soldier or Falcon and Winter Soldier. And it was delightful. And that is kind of why it inspired this particular episode is we're going to be talking about superheroes later on. Do you, do you like that show? Winter, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier? I enjoyed it. I just finished Loki today. 
I watched mm-hmm. WandaVision earlier, so I'm all caught up. WandaVision's really good. I like WandaVision. I like WandaVision, and I also liked Falcon Winter Soldier and Loki. I think I did like. I think I did like it. There was some stuff that definitely played off of my whole theory that there is actually one true god after many gods. And there was an epic battle, and Loki has become the one true god. And that explains the joke of a life that we all leave. Leave? Live? But, you know, it plays off of that whole theory that I have. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Get hot in here. (laughs) I know that guy too. Oh, Hawkeye is coming in November. I have heard of the trailer. I just uh, recently was asked if I had seen it. I have not seen it yet. Mm. Ooh, this is tasty. But you know what, Diane? You tastes, huh? you may have watermelon uh, margarita, but I have my own secret fancy ingredient ingredient left over. For I have rimmed my glass. Oh, damn! It's <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's way too much. I have Cheetos Chamoy. Uh, and I meant to do something differently, but instead, here we are. <laughs> I'll enjoy that. <laughs> I will enjoy it. I will be sticky as fuck. But you know I what? Like some Jamoy myself. <laughs> it was actually. The Instagram, where they rimmed a can of Topo Chico and this Chito Tomoy that inspired the episode where I made the watermelon Agua Fresca. If you go to the YouTube channel, Bottom Class Entertainment, you can find the recipe of this lovely, super, <laughs> yes, rimmed can. <laughs> I just realized how that sounded. I'll, I'll rim your can. Well. Yes, I'm flirting with your boyfriend again, Diane. I know. I wish you would. Maybe not. (laughs) At least have the decency to do it behind my back, you son of a bitch. (laughs) No! Maverick, how do you feel about your can being rimmed by a man in a purple priest costume? (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) 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 <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> I think actually, I think I saw that 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 alternate reality when I was watching uh, Loki. I think it just briefly glimpsed by yeah. sauce in the background. <laughs> wow. Vegas Vargas agrees. <laughs> <laughs> This is bomb. <laughs> Although, <laughs> my chamoy has a yeah, it's blobbed itself. Yeah, well, <laughs> you didn't you? I know it just. Yeah. Well, see, the thing is, I took look. So the the reason why there was half a shot in here is because I took half the shot earlier. Because we do a pregame shot, and then and then we do the, the podcast, and then things happen, and. You know, it leaked out, and I tried to scoop it, and my scooped it just swooped, and it, you know, it was a scoop swoop mistake, <laughs> but it tastes good. That's why you just jam it in there real quick and then pull it out. Don't you know nothing? But because there was too much moisture on the rim, it wasn't sticking, so I had to scoop swoop. Okay, cool. <laughs> yes. We 
getting drunk and the scoop scoop. That's all that matters. Now, this is a fine, fine beverage. And with Chicho's Chamoy, it's really good. You should rim your can with Chamoy. Cheetos Chamoy. <laughs> I don't know if Frankie will care for that, but you know what? We'll go with it. Um, this kind of tastes like Pop Rocks. Like, like Pop Rocks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my review. <laughs> I think it's pretty bomb. Yeah, it's not bad. Pop Rocks aren't bad, but that's like oh. the strawberry flavor. Well, Topo Chico is known for its carbonation. <laughs> that's what makes it special. The non-alcoholic <laughs> version. But Diane, would you like some booze in the news? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, so yes, I would. Margarita. Yeah, well, no. He came in to try it. You don't think it tastes good? Does it taste like Pop Rocks? It tastes like shit. He says it tastes like shit. Oh, it's lovely. Well, it tastes like something. Most of the time, seltzers taste like nothing. That's true. I think it tastes better than most seltzers. I'll drink it again. As a matter of fact, I have one more. Yeah, we went everywhere. We found this one dinged up can. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, if you're going to read your can, it might as well be dinged up. Hmm. Put that on a t shirt. <laughs> if you're going to read your can, it might as well be dinged up. That is quite a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to read your can, it might as well be dinged up. But yes, seltzer drinks are usually well, I don't know. I'm I'm a seltzer guy. But I've I, I've I've given up the sodas for seltzers. I think seltzers normally taste like nothing, so I find them very chuckable. And that for me is a win. <laughs> <laughs> Maverick strongly disagrees. Well, you know what? Maybe I won't rim your can then. What do you think about that? I'll find another can that's dinged up. Mm. Don't at least don't have lovers quarrels in front of me too. <laughs> like you, son oh. of a bitch! <laughs> I'm watching a whole relationship unfold. <laughs> it's all unraveling before your eyes. <laughs> My flavor is changing. Maybe it has something to do with this large glob of chamoy that's floating around in there. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's that bad. I really don't think it's that bad. I think it's I think it's quite tasty. I think it's good. I'm Vegas, bored. come on down. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good description. It's like drinking static from the TV when it never goes off air. <laughs> You can actually taste the. All right, all right, all right. We got we got important news to get to. Okay. These poor Australian bastards. <laughs> the Australian state is limiting residents of a COVID nineteen lockdown apartment buildings to only six beers per day. So apparently there are some apartment complexes that have been uh, uh, what's the word? Reappropriated for those that have uh, been diagnosed or tested positive for COVID-19 and those that are in this particular in these particular apartment buildings are limited to a ration of six beers or pre-mixed drinks, one bottle of wine, or one 375 bottle of 
of spirits. So, like, a pint of vodka is all you get. So what is it? Like, people who are in lockdown, or...? Yeah, so, if there's... there, The government has... Um, confiscate they, they they have some apartment complexes that are specifically for people that have COVID-19 which is mm. weird but to quarantine them they have these apartment buildings and to have groceries and stuff like that delivered to them they search the bags or if some gifts are given to everything searched and they take out if there's more than six bottles of beer or you know if there's more than a pint. So, oh, that really sucks. I was just thinking, if somebody sends them a fifth, they just pour half of it out? Oh, that was bad. No, somebody's, somebody's, somebody's taking that home. That's true. They're pouring it there's out. There's no way in hell that they're doing I mean, they're Australian, right? I out. mean. That's going somewhere. <laughs> you know, that is probably how World War II started. Somebody started pouring out somebody's vodka. That's why the Russians were so pissed. <laughs> Works for me. But yeah, so when the groceries and stuff are delivered, they are taking out any excess booze. So these these guys, first off, they have COVID-19. Then they're forced to live in this random apartment building. And then they're taking their booze away. Now, I'm going to... Uh, well, when I had COVID, I didn't feel like drinking, but I was also really bored. Actually, when I was actually sick, I didn't care about drinking. But once I started getting feeling better, it was like, you have nothing to do. You're stuck in a building and they're not going to let you have your booze to drink your sorrows away. I find I... that deeply offensive. Yeah, I played a shit ton of Dragon Age. I could have been I could have been convinced to drink even when I was sick. <laughs> I could have I if somebody just like if, if, they, if they, my mom would have just left a bottle outside my room of booze and was just like that's for you, I would have definitely. Then how hard is it to convince you it's time to drink? Not very. Exactly. Uh, all you have to do is suggest. <laughs> <laughs> and I will do my best to make sure it happens. <laughs> that is true. Alcohol will lower the immune well, system. Yeah, well, yeah, and you won't. I'm like, that's one way to get a breach of like everybody's all fucked up and then. Are they? I don't know. Well, uh, here, okay. Maybe they're just afraid that free flowing booze, everybody's locked into an apartment building. Maybe they're afraid of. So Mass is it orgies breaking out? I don't know. Is that is that like the amount for the whole time you're there, or what's like? Oh, is see. that a daily like amount of booze, or? For those words, hang on, I'm looking to see. Okay. So any alcohols? Look, keep talking while I'm reading. Okay, well. Um... Um, oh, wait. Apparently, you can have a physician prescribe you more booze than six beers a day. So if you have a legitimate reason for needing to drink, I think it's, I think it's per day. Good Lord. How much do you have to be drinking before for the doctor to go like, yeah. I don't know. I know some Four people that are six easily beers. drinking a half a gallon a day. I know, but I would think that like six beers would still keep you not dead, you know? You know, that's the thing. It's not saying like, is it six beers a week? Six beers a day? Because if it's six beers a week, that is fucking terrible. Like, that's yeah, six true. beers a week is it's pretty rough. Six beers a day is, you know, I mean, if I'm chilling by myself, 
watching some, you know, Disney Plus, I can go through six beers pretty easily. The beers make my stomach too full. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm think I'm thinking though, six beers. I don't think I could drink six beers. Not can consecutively can can. Uh, well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe possibly if they're because these apartments are specifically meant for people to be locked down while they have COVID. It's maybe a week, two week period. But even still, that's that's six beers during a week or ten days or two weeks. If you're only allowed six beers that entire time you're there, holy shit! Or a pint. A pint is. Yeah, a pint. That's horrible. A bottle I could I could stretch two days. <laughs> a pint is gone that night. You know what? Let me let me get on the old Google machine and see if there's another article. This one came from Yahoo News. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I had I don't know. COVID was, I, I, I really enjoyed myself, honestly, because I, I got to play video games and not feel bad that that's all I did all day. <laughs> like, it was one of the best times of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but I did nothing and there was no feeling of guilt or like, hey, I should really be doing something better with my time and energy. It was just like, no. I'm going to play as many video games as I can. <laughs> well, that's what you should be doing during a lockdown period. It was nice. I should have done that. The first day was the worst day, and then after that, I was pretty good. I lost my taste, I think, around the third or fourth day. But then the next day, it was back again, so... Well, it came back, but then it tasted, everything tastes weird. Like, I don't know what I was eating, but I bit into it and it had, it had a totally different taste. Oh, and man. I, <laughs> I hate the part that everything smelled like canned corn. <laughs> when, I, when my smell started coming back, everything smelled like canned corn for three or four days. Well, as I told you that, the, the one person I know, everything still smells like dog cum to her. Oh, my. Nico lost her sense of smell. And I burned the shit out of my nose. Like, <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Alright. You know what? It's I can't find anything that's telling me if it's... I'm thinking if it's six a day, that's not terrible. But... Yes, six a day isn't bad. But it's not cool. <laughs> and that's all we care about it's just not cool man <laughs> it's not cool bro it's not cool bro <laughs> Australian politicians come on <coughs> but if it's six a week what the fuck like that's not even a full week a beer a day oh my god oh my god like I know some legit alcoholics that don't have liver problems. That was all cheap. That was all chamoy flavored, and it was delicious. I bet. Chamoy is fucking beautiful. But that was my boost in the news. <laughs> Australia, be cool, bro. Be cool. Oh, here's our story. She had the oven cooking at 400 and thought, oh, yeah, the germ dies with heat. Opened the oven door and took a big whiff of hot. Ooh, superheated gases. Oh, my God. 
Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that shit. That shit. That's bad. Oh, it, <laughs> that's horrible. I mean, that's definitely one way to do Our it. Our nose hurt like hell, but I had my smell back the same night. <laughs> you burnt the COVID right out your nares. <laughs> burnt it right the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know what? Maybe instead of drinking bleach, just go sniff your oven. Yeah. Don't go sniff your oven. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, don't tell the Trumpers. <laughs> don't tell the Trumpers. <laughs> Everybody's sticking the... You know what? Go tell the Trumpers. <laughs> Everybody's sticking their hand in the oven. Uh, okay. Okay. Don't actually stick your head in the oven. Don't stick your head in the oven. If you stick your head in the oven, bad things happen. Diane. Hmm. How do you feel about superpowers? I have a superpower, and that's telling other people superpowers. <laughs> Damn, what so, you said? What what was one of my list of superpowers that you uh, determined? I know you can control bubbles. Um, yes. I think there were other things, but right now all I can think of is the bubbles. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you had told me that mm -hmm. I turn into a llama and blow bubbles, and That's I'm actually true. a super villain. We would call that shape shif shifting. Because it sounds cooler than just turning into a lot of <laughs> bubbles. You gotta. But specifically, I shapeshift into a llama and blow bubbles. Oh, Nico wants to know what her superpowers would be. Mm. Dad, you're on. on the spot. I gotta feel it in my soul. <laughs> uh. Nico, would you uh, do us a favor and project your soul, your soul, your soul, your soul to Diane? She needs to examine it, please. Projection. That's pretty cool, though. If I can like <laughs> gather people's soul and feel it, <laughs> that makes it my job a little bit cooler. Oh. Um. <laughs> she felt that in her soul. <laughs> <laughs> um. I feel like it has to do with cats. <laughs> and um, I want to say you're like a like you. Oh, OK, let me think. You might you might have nine lives. It's kind of I, I kind of like tell superpowers like uh, fortunes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm feeling like you either can control cats or you definitely have nine lives or maybe both. You might be like a Holly Berry cat woman of sorts, but cooler. I was about to say, Jesus. But why, cooler. Why, why are you saying such harsh things to No, 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 no. No, I'm, 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 <sighs> I just, I need to. I'm trying to think of good, <laughs> good. I don't want to give anybody disappointing powers, but I'm like, well, cats. Oh, I have, I've also talked to. She says the compliment, actually. <laughs> You're saying um, of all the cat women, Holly Berry was the weakest. No, well, no, she wasn't. She was brought back to life by cats. She's mystical. <laughs> She's magical. <laughs> Well, was the, was the movie itself stupid? Yes, but the cat part was cool. <laughs> Maybe Nico Cupcake is just the the cat whisper. I don't know. That's not my job. I don't come with superpowers. You know what? You I'm know a what? llama that blows bubbles. With Nico, Neko comes a good time. So her superpower might just be a good time. <laughs> with cats <laughs> yeah, well, yeah with cats well not with cats that sounds a little weird a good time with cats <laughs> oh, but like that does sound weird that sounds terrible no like 
I mean, I guess you could call it instant happiness. (laughs) (laughs) Instant happiness. Uh, It's always a joy. She 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 instantly makes you want to just nico nico ni, and then that. (laughs) It's like when the cat comes up into your ear and starts purring and is being sweet. Because that's a rare thing that cats do. And that's just precious. Yeah. All my cats are dicks, though. They come up and go, meow. And they go, why aren't you petting me, dick? (laughs) (laughs) My cats are all just... We love you, too. I love the heart hands thing. I'm just going on the record. I love heart hands. I... You know, I, I I wish I wish I would have discovered this earlier in my life. I would have done it a lot more. But I did not discover the heart hand thing until later on in life and it just it mildly upsets me. I wish oh. I, I could have been doing this for decades. At least three. <laughs> But Diane, do you want to talk about some other people with real superpowers? Supposedly. Sure. Although this one, okay, the I'll first one. I don't know if they're true or not. You know. The first or, one, you you will. That is your power. So this guy, I don't I don't necessarily consider this a superpower, but he basically made the world's first jetpack. But at the same time, he has to jump out of a plane first for it to work. Like he can't stand on the ground and be like. He has to jump out of a plane, which I mean, I guess it's still bomb as fuck. What does he do? He's Jetman. He's a Swiss professional pilot, an aeronautical engineer that created basically. You see these little wingy dingies here. Mm-hmm. You see, he's got a little parachute in here. Do they do they come out of his flesh? No. So it's like not a superpower. <laughs> He's he's basically a generic Iron Man, oh. not even an Iron Man. He's like he's like he, the dollar store Iron Man. Well, did he did he make it himself? He did build it himself. Well, there you go. That's very Iron Man. So we'll give him that. We'll give him. And, <laughs> Nico says it's not a jetpack. <laughs> yeah. And hoverboards are not hoverboards. Don't even get me started on hoverboards. <laughs> Oh, yes, he is a generic falcon. He's like Buzzard. He's Condor Man! Does he have oh. any special oh, fighting shit. skills? No. Uh. No. He just flies around on this winged thing. But I was just thinking, is Condor Man on Disney Plus? That's a Disney film. Condor Man was one of my favorite flicks. I'm going to have to find it. I'm watching that tonight. Sorry, I just got overly excited and got distracted. But Condor Man, if you can find Condor Man, you're watching this live stream. <laughs> do yourself a favor and watch Condor Man. Oh my God, it is a classic and it's so underrated. I don't know why more people don't talk about Condor Man. Rant over. <laughs> oh, Rocketeer was good too. Please, no Condor Man. But yes, the Rocketeer was fine. Condor man. I don't think I know what you didn't make yourself a rage emote. You didn't. We had Condor man on VHS. I watched it like almost daily. If it was one of the three VHS tapes we had. And it wasn't Scamper in the Ten Commandments, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> it, it yeah, was not Scamper in the Ten Commandments. And the Nightmare Before Christmas, I remember, I watched that a lot. <laughs> Condom Man is the porn parody, and it didn't work out. It broke every time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this guy This fucking guy I don't know what the fuck he does He's a torture king 
So he's probably a villain. It looks like he's a masochist. Yeah. Well, you know. His name is Tim Crow. I think he's a superhero. So apparently he has an unimaginable pain tolerance. Oh, he is part of the Jim Rose Circus. And he was born with a mutation which disables feeling of the pain the way normal people do. I don't know. I don't know if it's that sense. I, I think this dude just like fucking. The dude found a way to make money. I'm going past this guy. What? He's just like, oh. He probably has some of the most super powery powers. He can't feel pain. And that makes him happy, I guess. <laughs> so, suppose he has got a malfunction of nervous cells and pain doesn't register. I guess okay, maybe that's also his greatest weakness, but like at the same time. Yeah. This guy eats square hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. <laughs> that is his super power. I can feel it in his soul. He'll one day save the world. Oh. Nick was feeling the rage. For society, like, it's, this is mellow compared to my hatred to society not letting us advance technology. Which, uh, it depends. Society's selective on the technology they want us to. Stuff that saves lives, eh, we'll see. Better cell phone? Get on that shit. <laughs> but apparently this guy's got an elastic stomach, which technically all of us have an elastic stomach because that's how stomachs work. Um, but I guess his is more <laughs> elastic than others. And he can He's eat, the like, mostly special. <laughs> yeah, he and he his power comes from these square hot dogs. If you look, you can see how square these hot dogs are. And this one kind of looks like a carrot. Um, and so does this one. This one looks like an old carrot. Um. <laughs> Hell, they might be yes. carrots and buns. <laughs> it's Captain Wiener Eater. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> but, uh, oh, this dude. So this dude, I actually remember because he was on all kinds of shows and stuff back in the 80s. This guy ate an entire Cessna. And like he eats like light bulbs and glass. This guy encouraged me to eat an, eat a light bulb. I ate a light bulb once. It was a terrible idea. How did they go? Well, I'm here now, aren't I? <laughs> so, but uh, that's all I ever tried. I try I tried to eat a light bulb, and I guess it worked out. You know. As far as I know, I don't have any internal bleeding because, well, I'm still here. Kids don't eat light bulbs. But this right, guy is you're this... fine. <laughs> Diane. <laughs> disclaimer. Oh, sorry, disclaimer. Don't, disclaimer. Don't eat light bulbs. <laughs> don't eat light bulbs. Or a, set, or a Cessna. Or whatever the fuck this thing is that he's eating. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> we were raised by a single mother and she was working two jobs. So, you know, decisions had to be made. Sorry. Uh, that's like chugging you know. ASMR. It just, it, it's a thing. It's a thing. It happened. You know, I'm not proud of it, but maybe I am. I don't know. Yeah. I had a light bulb. It doesn't sound like you're not proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it once. I'm not doing it again. So don't ask me. I may be an e-girl, but I don't know. I'm not taking any chances. I did it once. Unfortunately, it was not when anybody was watching, and it was not a time for me to monetize it. So mistakes were made. But I've kind of gone through this. This kid freaks me out. So apparently this guy has got some kind of genetic 
protein block myostatin, and it basically is, it's not, I mean, he's stronger than, mo this is like the superhero that I was talking about in uh, one of the comics I was talking about. He's strong for a man of his size. <laughs> That's this kid. He's strong for a man of his size. Like, he's super ripped at, like, nine, which is really creeping me who, out. Who would win, him or Lil Hercules? I don't know. I haven't seen his capabilities. Now, he's strong, but Little Hercules, he had some endurance. I've seen those, and Little Hercules skates now, so, I mean, comparative level right now, Little Hercules can just, like, hit him with skateboard and bam, fight's over. But Little Hercules is like 30 something. So Little Hercules now, that little kid would beat his ass. He might, but Little Hercules little Her back in the day though. <laughs> little Hercules back in the day was wiry little son of a like not wiry, but he was he was quick. He had he had speed. And his dad was feeding him steroids. So he had natural strength. This guy's got natural strength. Little Hercules had synthetic strength. Mm. I don't know. That would be so weird. It that's, does look that's just weird. I don't know. We'll contact uh, whoever the hell I got this from. News 18. That kid is going to be weird. Scrolling past the wieners. And apparently this actress has like fucking legit uh, photographic memory. She can recall all kinds of stuff from decades past. This guy just has killer sideburns. <laughs> no, <I don't> <laughs> I'm willing to accept that. That's fact. I felt that in my. I mean, honestly, that could be a superpower. This is number one. <laughs> Those are some super sideburns. <laughs> oh, this guy just had a Marfan syndrome, which is the same <laughs> syndrome that Abraham Lincoln had. So, what's the special power that comes with that? He's just super. Fle he's super flexible. Okay. And he's bendy and all kinds of stuff. But, you know, I'm going to appreciate his sideburns. I feel like that's a superpower all of its own. Yeah. Oh. And as pointed out, a wicked stare. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy actually had a beneficial genetic mutation where he is immune to HIV. Well, damn. Yeah. So the AIDS virus actually cannot lock, latch onto his T cells. How, how did we find this out? I don't know. Let me read the little caption. <laughs> Does he sleep with um, positive people only? And then that's <laughs> that Maybe. was his kink for years. It what are says... those people called who are like, they have like, that's their kink, trying to get diseases. I don't know. There's like a sect of people that do that. Uh, I don't know. I, I know. I know. That I know you're talking about. There's there's an actual thing. I just don't know what it's called. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I haven't decided them for science, but uh, so it says. When gay, black, and Latinx community during the 80s and early 90s was ravaged by the AIDS epidemic, one man stood untouched. Stephen Crone was detected with Delta 32 mutation, which guarded his code 24 white blood cells. Hence, he was completely immune to the HIV. He is also known as the man who can't catch AIDS. <laughs> That's the end of the story. Much. <laughs> Wait, who the fuck is this guy? I didn't see this guy. I didn't read his story. What is his? Super endurance. Finnish Olympic skiing champion. E fuck, I'm not going to read that name. Had genetic super endurance power. You Rare condition. 
look, it's Eero Monteron. Ma ah, fuck it. Let me see if I can. No, I'm not. Result of his mutation in erythropoietin receptor gene. His trait allowed him to carry 50% more ener more oxygen in his bloodstream. Was advantageous in his... So this guy was cheating. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. I'd take some of that, you know. Yeah, be able maybe to that's carry what he did. He'd run around and fucked everybody or let them fuck him. And then he was like, bam, no AIDS for me. <laughs> I feel like that's how that happened for sure. Yeah, he's a white European man, so it doesn't matter if I can't pronounce his name. Pam. White people don't matter. <laughs> but those are a list of some people with superpowers. But I was inspired by this because this gets me to the story that I want to tell. I had a friend that I was convinced had superpowers when I was a child. And so did his brother. And it was impressive. So, as goofy-ass kids, you know, in elementary school age, we were out playing around in the yard, and we had to pee. And we were peeing behind the shed. And my friend, we will call him Howard. So Howard's, in, I'm, protect, I'm changing his name to protect the innocent. But we're out in the back, peeing behind the shed. And this dude, this, he goes, hey, watch this. And he pees straight up in the air on top of the shed, on the top, runs down from top of the shed down to the side. This guy could pee like 10 feet in the air. He could pee 10 feet in the air. You cannot tell me that's not a superpower. Then his brother came out. He's going, oh, I can do that too. And he peed on the roof of his house. He peed on the roof of the house. This man <laughs> could piss at least 15 feet in the air. I mean, holy shit. So you know what? I, I tried it. And you know what I did? You beat on his own? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But apparently they had the ability where they could, like, put enough pressure through their bladder and their urethra where they could impact the flow. And he said it was prostate cancer. And nay, they are not. <laughs> they are face... I still have them on Facebook. Do you want to go check? <laughs> yes. I'm starting to feel like Pegasus' superpower is to just know what the hell is. <laughs> Well, okay. So later on in my life, I found out apparently there is a few and far between people in the human population that have this ability to like put enough back pressure on the urine where they can pee ungodly distances. Because somebody called in. I was watching Loveline, okay? This is Loveline, back in the Dr. Drew and Adam Carolla. And uh, Diane Farr. They were there, and they were talking about the fact that some people can do this, because this guy called in saying that he had a friend that could pee, like he could be sitting in the desk across the way, and he could pee and hit him across the classroom. Which is, I don't know why they're trying to pee each other on each other in class. That's a whole different story not to get into. But apparently there is... You don't remember like going the, to school? If I could pee on someone across the class, <laughs> I would have. You know what? I don't know if he's a firefighter. I'll message him later on. I don't know. That'd be a weird conversation. I haven't like had an actual conversation with him in several years. We were just being like, oh, hey, Howard, can you still pee on the roof while standing on the ground? And if he can, that would be impressive. Wait. 
Apparently, I just sent a tweet. <laughs> what did I just tweet out? I hit, I hit my phone, and now I sent a tweet. What the fuck did I just tweet? tweet? <laughs> can you still pee? <laughs> can you still pee on the roof? Okay, no. We're okay. Well, no, never mind. I don't know what that was. It was a late-breaking thing. I don't know. But yes, he could pee on the roof. I, <laughs> <laughs> like I just love every... how impressed you are. You're just... Dude, I was legit impressed. It was the most amazing thing ever. I tried so hard. All I, the only thing that happened is I had to go change my pants and my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and your shirt, my God. The best I could do was pee on my chest, and that's a whole different thing. I just. But I mean. Like... <laughs> Imagine, imagine if one of your best friends just suddenly was like, "Oh, look, check this out!" They just pissed on the roof in front of your face, just like, just suddenly had this massive arcing stream that landed on the roof of the house and rolled down. As a female, I would probably just go like, "Oh," like I would just think everybody could do that. I would not be impressed at all. I'd probably be more jealous than anything because I know for a fact I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we got to keep an eye on Vegas Vargas here. Be <laughs> like he would start intentional fires. <laughs> keep no, him out of California. You don't. <laughs> don't have to because he can't. He That's can't true. That I guess he can't. But I mean, like, seriously, it just blew my mind. I'm, we're standing there, just happily peeing behind the shed. And he's just like, bam. I mean, you you have no idea what wonderment just, like, washed over me in that moment. I was legit just baffled and impressed. And I just want you to know this entire episode was structured around the fact so I can tell the story of my friend peeing on a roof. This no. story is dedicated to Howard peeing on a roof. You know, <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> More than Actually, I, I don't know where he lives right now. He's a Mormon, so he probably lives in Utah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. If he could do it, his brother could do it. Is it a Mormon power? Is that what happens to join the? <laughs> I thought you were gonna assume his Jesus father Christ. could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Contributing it to Mormons is even better. <laughs> like, is this part of the initiation? Like, when you're baptized within the Mormon Church, do they go out and pee on the chapel? Is it just like, I mean, <laughs> is this is this uh, is this a thing? Do if you're a Mormon. <laughs> and you're watching this. I just have to know: Can all Mormons pee ten feet or more in the air? That's all I want to know. Ten feet or more, can you pee? Height, distance, you know, whatever. I figure if it, if you can pee ten feet straight up in the air, you should probably be able to do in further, you know, in distance. <laughs> <laughs> That's only impregnate so many women. Hmm. So maybe, maybe it's just that's part of the thing. It's urethra control. The Mormons harp on urethra control. That's probably what they're secretly talking about behind closed doors when, you know, like the Mormons come to your door and try to get you to go to the church. You go to the church, and you know they have normal sermons. You know what? What? Yada yada yada. Jesus, blah blah blah. Heavens, whatever it is. But now, now just think. Once, once you get indoctrinated and you're in there, they slowly start teaching the secrets of how to control that urethra, and not only. Can you pee long distances? You can, you know, you know. Oh, by the way, I think it's 
It's just mump just muffin in sign language. Just muffin. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, just maybe, they can also distance. I don't know. <laughs> just, it's just, it's just, God, it's I just, wish it, I had fun facts. It's just a random thought that's cross. I'm processing this thought right now as this goes. I just, you know, did you drink all of your? I'm almost. It's almost gone. I still have like half of mine. I'm not drinking this as quickly as I would have hoped. <laughs> but the Mormons are Avatar of the Last P Bander. <laughs> And <laughs> benders. <laughs> it's hard to do sign language. You got a microphone in front of your face, and it's not working for the podcast version that I'm I'm behind on. But you know, just don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you don't know sign language? Topo Chico Hard Seltzer. Where does it rank in our little system? I I know I'm just kind of... I just I, I want to talk about real superpowers. Then do you want to be with real superpowers before we rank our... Uh, our Topo Chico? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Do you remember my friend Shelson? I do remember her. She hit me up the other day out of nowhere and was just like, I had a dream about you. And she was just like, you died. Oh, that's but terrible. Apparently, yeah. She was like, but it's a good thing because that means you're ready for whatever's <laughs> like going on in your life. She asked me if I was getting married. And I, said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. And she's like, I thought I told her, like, I, uh, me and the boyfriend are talking about moving in together and all the stuff. And she's like, oh, okay. And she was all like, well, it just means you're, you're ready for whatever. And I was like, okay, that's so cool. Is her dream <laughs> of like people dying is like they're putting away their old self and yeah, it's some, probably some new... re rebirth shit. That's usually what uh, it is in like tarot cards and shit like that. Ah. Uh. Makes so sense. yeah, I mean, when a per like when Chelsea hit me up, I was just like, and told me about this. I was just like, well, if I'm gonna believe anybody, I can have like magical dreams about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's her. <laughs> you know, that makes sense, right? It makes sense. It really does. But it was so weird because she could just out of nowhere. And my sister was just telling me she had a dream about her. And then out of nowhere, she hits me up and it's just like, hey, I had a dream about you. And I, was like, <laughs> I haven't seen her since like high school, middle school, probably. But yeah, we were like besties in like fourth and fifth grade. Yeah. I remember he used to, she used to be around quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Biggest Vargas new guy that can turn real three six how like full three sixty or is it like a one eighty and then he had to come back around and <laughs> I knew a kid who <laughs> who would poop in a bucket and cut his pee or poop in half with pee. Is that matter? Were you friends with a demon? No, <laughs> some dude named Jonathan. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I, I know about Jonathan. I was talking about uh, oh, I guess far as he can turn his head all the way around. I thought it was a little extreme to describe somebody who can <laughs> cut the roof in half the piss. <laughs> no, that's that's any dude can do that. Look, well, that probably made him feel not so special. There is look. As a man, mm. there's many times 
where you pinch off a loaf and then you'll decide to try to cut in half with pee. It's just a common thing. Dudes do it all the time. It sounds fun. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Make as far as remember the first time he did it. He shit on the floor and then he cut his piss in half. Because he didn't have his piss. I mean, I think that's just a power that all men can share. Then, you know, just you know, sometimes you just gotta, you know, cut a turd with your piss. It's just, yeah. It's just life. I told life my and- mom about it and then she was so mad because like uh we were (laughs) being babysat by this person's mom or whatever and she was pissed because she was like they must have seen his penis then and she was just mad (laughs) she was like one that's disgusting two that means a dick was in your presence (laughs) (laughs) spoken like a true christian woman (laughs) and she was not happy (laughs) It was dick in your presence. It wasn't her uncle. Oh, wait, that sounded even worse. God damn it. <laughs> we have an uncle dick. Yeah. <laughs> Not, uh, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> just You know what? Just forget it. Forget I mentioned it. Forget I mentioned it. Topo Chico. <laughs> Where? It's not, it's not bad, but it's not good. Where does it stand? It's on? not bad. Is it a main eventer? Is it an upper mid carder? Is it in the mid card? Lower mid card? Or is it a motherfucking Java? When you get to a party, are you looking forward to get to the main event and enjoying some Topo Chico? Or is it just something to get 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 you started? Or will it carry you through a party? Where do you feel as though Topo Chico lands in this world? Well, if I had like a six pack of tall boys, Ooh. I could see it being a main eventer, maybe. Not at 4%, probably. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But. I don't think it's bad tasting. I think it's enjoyable. At least the strawberry guava. I don't know. I have one more flavor in the fridge because I found two. But out of respect, you know, for Diane, even though she has a watermelon margarita. Yeah, I was going to say, I was just going to say, watermelon margarita. All alcohol has a main adventure. If you, you know, I mean, true. Those are true spots. True spots, true words, my friend. But if somebody is like at a party and they're like, oh, we got a case of Topo Chico, are you like, I'm definitely down? Or are you like, yeah, we'll see how it goes? I'm definitely down because if like that's what you have to show me, I'm chugging it. But <laughs> um, I would say. I would say mid card upper mid card. Fair enough. I will put it at least Topo Chico Guava Strawberry is definitely upper mid card. And that is facts. According to this podcast. Of a bunch of jackasses. Diane, final thoughts. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> final thoughts. Uh, what do I have final thoughts on? <laughs> Vegas Vargas would leave. He's an adult and has his own money. Uh, and those are bad friends. <laughs> oh, hey, Crocs of Steel has joined us at the tail end of this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you're his favorite juggalette. Thank you. Thank on? you. Thank you for joining us. We're actually uh, wrapping up our little podcast here. 
Um, we were drinking some Topo Chico's. Uh, we just uh, gave them our little ranking. We're here every Monday at 9 p.m. Don't worry. You can watch it on replay. Or if you go to Bottom Class Entertainment on YouTube, you can watch the whole show right there and watch it and watch it unravel before your eyes because this shit went off the rails really early it was bad i it mean was it was bad. good but it was it, bad it, <laughs> it was rough my camera went out it was a disaster but we're good now we're good all things have worked out topo chico is delicious I had a 99 banana, double doom. And uh, the poor Australians that are being locked down, that have tested positive COVID, are only getting like six beers a day or six beers a week. I don't know. The article was unclear on how much it's <laughs> limited to, which kind of pisses me off because I couldn't find the exact answer. But either way, if you're getting if you're getting stuff delivered and there's more than six beers in there or more than 375 milliliters of liquor or one bottle of wine, they take that shit out. And that's not fair. <laughs> that's that's kind of hilarious. I got 99 bananas, but a plantain at one. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, I may, uh, I may borrow that for a later a later podcast. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's it's fantastic. <laughs> that was, that's good. He's stealing uh, your jokes. <laughs> I am. I am. He's <laughs> got me. He's got clocks of steel. <laughs> but yes, final thoughts, Diane, as we bring this podcast to a close about humans, people with superpowers. Being able to piss 15 feet in the air. I don't know. Australians, uh, booze, any final thoughts? Um, I think it's, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I do think pissing 15 feet up into the air is a superpower, I guess. If, if I yes. had to guess, I, I would have that... thought every dude could have, but. I was. You, you did not <laughs> witness it firsthand. It was. I did it. I want you to know, just to this day, every once in a while, when I have the opportunity to piss outside, I try to see how far I can push it. <laughs> just like I, I think <laughs> about that moment and I see how far I can force my piss. I just love that that's a moment in your life, you know? <laughs> the day I was hung, hanging out with these two dudes outside their houses and they pissed on their roof. Like, <laughs> well, it started, they pissed on top of the shed. Okay. And then they made it to the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone hands free too. It is freeing. It just feels, it's just nice to stand there and just kind of, you know, wiggle your hips back and forth and just, you know. <laughs> Let the gods oh. take it. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, um, you're you're receiving precious insight into the man mind. That I'm, is I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving <laughs> it. I, I I think it's great that that's a moment you remember that you tried and you failed. The vulnerability, the the shame <laughs> of pissing on your own chest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Is that the day you became a man when you realized that <laughs> life's not fair? In the... <laughs> that was the day I realized all men are truly not created equal. Yeah. Some of us have powers, some of us don't. But you know what? I can smell COVID now, so bam. But I can't pee on my chest. I mean, I can pee on my chest. Yeah. I can't, I can't like pee on a roof. one thing you can do. <laughs> I can do it well. I just can't pee on a roof. <laughs> Unless I'm on said roof. Like, I can't stand on the ground and pee upwards onto the roof and watch it run down, and it's a cascade. I think it's hilarious gloriousness. <laughs> that you've said that multiple times. Watched it run down. Like, the Dude, imagery. Was, you said no idea. It was, just, it was just like, it was just this golden arc. 
I mean, it was better than seeing McDonald's sign in the distance. It was just this lovely arc, and it just landed, and it hit the... Well, when he pissed onto the roof of his house, it wasn't quite all the way to the peak, but it hit just a nice, solid distance up the arch, and it came down in just this glorious, golden fashion, and it was impressive. <laughs> Did you just... Underneath of it, like <laughs> no, still piss. I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it just sounded so. The, I don't know. The visual of romantic. watching it happen was impressive, <laughs> okay. but like the idea of it being on me is not impressive. That's mm. that's not my kink. I'm not kink shaming. It's just not mine. <laughs> it's, uh, at least no one's peeing on my chest. At least, uh, and then Croc still says. I mean, I'm sure you can find someone to do, <laughs> to do that off-task rabbit. Uh, I mean, it, it's just not my thing. I just, I just appreciate the fact that somebody could pee that kind of a distance. It is impressive, and honestly, I rec, I, I regret not actually measuring the true distance of what it could happen. So I'd love to be able to tell you an exact distance. I mean, like this guy peed 20 feet, 10 feet. I don't know how it was, but it was, it was just, it was feet firmly planted on the ground. It went up and then it arced. It just, it was just, it was, it, it, how mad, okay. It was impressive. How mad, how less mad would you be? Like, okay, you're chilling. All of a sudden, you feel drops on you. All right. You're like, oh my God, it's piss. You turn, and the guy's peeing from like 50 yards away. <laughs> how mad are you in that situation? Okay. Let me tell you how this would go is okay. Huh. Is it raining? Wait a minute. What the? F how the fuck? And then slow clap, right? <laughs> and then be like, bro, bro. How the fuck did you do that? Can you show me how you did that? Come here, bro. Let me get you a bottle of water. You need to show me how we can do this. <laughs> do seagulls pee? I thought they just like urine and feces all come out together because they got the cloaca. You know, birds. But either way, if if that were to happen to me and I was just sitting there and I was like I just I, I glanced over and saw that arc and this guy was able to pee on me from that great distance. Hmm. Yeah, it's not even that. like it's not even like fifty yards like straight. It's like it's up and over, so he's really peeing even longer. Of a but then I have to, I have questioned his motives. Or harder. Like, <laughs> like if we're just standing in, like, if we're just standing in an open field, mm -hmm. he's intentionally arcing it in my distance to pee on me, then obviously I'm developing an arch nemesis. Clearly. That's true. That's obviously what's happening. Now, now, if, say, I'm standing and there's, like, a building, a wall, some sort of obstructive view, and he's just, like, you know, out there peeing, just, you know, just having fun by himself, being like, oh, hey, look what I can do, you know, just, just you know, doing typical guy shit. And I feel something wet, and then I look, and then I see him off in the distance, because I peer around the corner, I'd be like... What the fuck? Oh shit! How the fuck is this guy doing? Then you know, I'm sure apologies and stuff would happen, and then you know what? Maybe we become best friends. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a different situation. Like I said, it's either I'm developing a best friend or a nemesis. <laughs> oh, you're... 
different equipment has different stream power. <laughs> For example, turtleneck or no turtleneck has different. You know, there's some truth in that. There's some truth. I'm just saying, it was my best friend and his brother both shared the same capability. And I'm just saying, junk comparison. I'm just saying there was, it was different. It was, so you, it was, you inspected the equipment? Well, I mean, they're pissed in front of me. You obviously can see there's different, you know. Every, look, everybody's best friend seen each other's wieners at some point. It happens. I'm just saying, there were some differences in, you know, erogenous zone things. There were some differences. <laughs> I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus, but there was comparable differences. <laughs> yes. Confessions with the Reverend. <laughs> I'm just saying, this might come down to Mormonism. I don't know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but just, it's just a hunch. It's just a hunch I'm working with. I don't know. Crocs is still, are you a Mormon? I don't want to offend you if you are. And if you are a Mormon, I just need to know, is this part of the process of becoming a Mormon? Do they teach you how to urinate long distances and just have thorough urethra control? Is that a thing? I just... <laughs> I, I love the idea of this becoming a stereotype for Mormons. <laughs> like, <they can> just <laughs> piss great heights. I feel like this happen. I don't know. But I just, I just, it's, just, it's just an assumption. Oh, Crocs is still is Jew. I may or may not make fun of it because we're still not sure if I'm Jewish or not. All I know is my last, my dad's last name is Landenberg, and he had a mean Jew fro. We don't know. We don't know. And our grandma uses a lot of Yiddish terms. I didn't know they were Yiddish until I had some Jewish. Fro. They were Yiddish. <laughs> <laughs> so we both might be Jewish in some sort. This is a lovely question. <laughs> Do men like sitting down to pee or poo? Well, obviously... Oh, wait, hang on. To pinch a loaf, obviously you need to sit. Because you can't <laughs> stand to pinch a loaf because it's going to be messy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, make the obvious to you. I don't know what y'all do. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some arguments to peeing sitting down. And I have accepted those arguments. And I go, you know what? Maybe. But I have been very drunk before and have decided I should sit down to pee because I don't want to pee in my trash can. <laughs> this is true. The Jewish people do have a lovely sense of humor and some of the best comedians are Jewish. Hence, I'm hoping I have a Jewish heritage because I will exploit it as much as I possibly can. <laughs> Yeah, once we know for sure, we'll believe. We'll start to believe you're funny. <laughs> you know what? Just because you can't pee 15 miles. 15, mi uh, 15 <laughs> miles. <laughs> now, if I, you could, pee 15 more, I could probably pee for 15 miles walking, but I, I, I not, <laughs> not across 15 miles. <clears throat> Ah, see, there we go. Crocs of steel. If he's super tired, pee sitting down. I've done that, too. If I'm, like, super, like, super tired, it's, it's been exhausting. It's like, you know what? I'm going to pee. I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to enjoy this. But, you know, there's, there's a certain convenience to be able to just stand and pee. Because you can just walk in, just beep pee it out and move on with your day. And that's the important thing. It depends on how much back pressure you have. And obviously, if you can go 15 feet, there might be a lot of back pressure. So you probably should hold on tight. But 
you kind of got to hold on just because, you know, aiming purposes. Because, you know, nobody wants to pee in their own trash can. Now, your friend's trash can, that's a different story. <laughs> Rock steel. Also, I've sat down to pee after a, after I shot a different stream, and had to wait for a few to cool down before period before I can be. I got. I yeah. I yes, yes. I, I understand. I get what you're saying here. <laughs> sometimes you know. Sometimes. You gotta, you know, safety. Don't wanna be in a trash can once again for that situation. Oh, but we have got on for a long time talking about being in trash cans and drifting people. Like, oh, we're supposed to wrap this up and we're on for 15 minutes longer. But those are our final thoughts and we thank you for joining us. It has been so much fun. Now, once again, we have decided Topo Chico, Strawberry Guava <laughs> is an upper mid carter. And real quick, let me check. Oh, wait. Wow, shit. I'm getting an alert. Why are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, computer? I don't want this. I don't want this. Why are you doing this? I don't want this. Sorry, I'm going to give you stuff. He what? doesn't want it. <laughs> Stop. I said no. I said no, Windows. I said no. No means no. Final thought from Croc Steel. Also respect the cooldown process. Hey, hey. Don't you just pop in here to make references to the things I do and do not want. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You bastard. <laughs> now, if you're watching us on Catch Up over here on the YouTube's channel at Bottom Class Entertainment, please give us a like, share, 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 share. like, share, subscribe, share, share your butt right over to that notification sign and boop, hit that bell on. And you can be notified when we have new episodes up, or we have some bottom class drink specials, or maybe we have some other special episodes coming up eventually. I just gotta buy some more Karen clothes and a wig. Ooh, teasers. Crafty. We have some other stuff that will be coming up on the YouTube channel, so please like, share, subscribe, have some fun. We have audio versions available at bestofthebottom.podbean.com, and we are live at twitch.tv forward slash bottom class every Monday night at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, Convergens, I don't know. If you're on Twitch, there's a schedule. It'll tell you exactly what time it is in your time zone. Thank Twitch for converting stuff to people's time zones. And we have a website, PericoProductions.com. It has links to all the social medias and all the lovely things we have available to you on the internet. There's some merchandise. If you would like to donate to us, we'd appreciate that because we need money to make things happen. We're trying very hard. We're growing slowly but surely. And thanks to people like all of you that want to join us in our stupidness. It's fucking awesome. Now let me see where all this is. Final, final thought. <laughs> if we want. Uh, and Extreme has been here the whole time. You sneaky bastard. Love to you too. And love to Nico. Love to Maverick. Love to all nine of you that are in here right now. Watch us be jackasses. It's awesome. We love you guys. And we will see you next week. Now, sorry, we're doing Monday Night Football. Look, I decided on Mondays a long time ago. I'm not a football guy. I'm a wrestling guy. And I don't watch Raw. I'm an AEW guy. I don't know. But goodbye. We love you. And please, consider following us, subscribing, all those things that you do on your particular social medias. 
and join our family. And we will see you next week. Bye.